You know, I wasn't actually gonna make a video today, but I couldn't take a day off when AMD is dropping bombshells all over the place like it has been lately. So in case you missed it, AMD just announced a couple new processors that will sort of accompany Ryzen processors that are already on the market and may even beat some of those uh, R3 processors to the marketplace. The first one that I want to talk about and the main one that I'm interested in is the Threadripper processor, which is a 16 core, 32 thread, at least up to 16 core and 32 thread monster that is featuring again Zen cores and is rumored to be up to potentially getting 4.1 gigahertz, although there is definitely no confirmation on that and that was just according to uh, WCCF Tech in one of their articles, but nonetheless, that's a ton of horsepower under the hood. Aside from knowing that the processor is planned to launch in mid-2017 featuring 32 megabytes of L3 cache and those 8 cores and 16 threads with quad-channel DDR4 support instead of just dual-channel, there isn't really a whole lot of other details to report. However, AMD will likely uh, give us more details at Computex in a couple weeks. Because AMD hasn't entered this segment of the market in a long time, it'll be curious to see sort of how they feel out the marketplace. I'm expecting, at least around launch time, a price point of somewhere in the $1,000 neighborhood. However, they may likely adjust that price point based on how the market reacts to the processor. But without a whole lot of competition in that range, you would think that AMD may be a little bit aggressive with how they put their price points uh, compared to especially the other Ryzen processors. And although we don't know what size it will be uh, featured on just yet. It seems a surefire guarantee it's not going to be AM4 because the processor's physical size should prohibit it from being able to be fit onto that uh, type of socket anyways. So if you are already an early adopter on the Ryzen side of things and you're suddenly swooning over this thing, uh, be ready to buy into a different motherboard as well as the processor cost on top of that. And on the data center side of things, AMD did announce its new Epic processors, which are those Naples processors we've been sort of waiting for, which will go up to 32 cores and 64 threads, featuring up to a 2.8 gigahertz turbo boost with a 1.4 gigahertz base clock. Now, obviously, the enterprise sort of side of things isn't what I am most interested in or what most consumers are most interested in, but it will be nice to see AMD competing once again on that side of things, which should be highly lucrative for them if they can get a little bit of market share going and actually move some of those processors. It's also worth pointing out that AMD is utilizing that Infinity fabric that it uses to interconnect its CCX modules within the Ryzen processors to interconnect between a two-socket system for the uh, Naples processors in the enterprise side of things. But that's about all the details we have for these processors right now. Super exciting stuff coming out of AMD. So we look forward to hearing more about this at Computex in a couple weeks, as well as that highly elusive Vega launch that we're really waiting on. And of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that my information today came from WCCF Tech as one of the uh, earliest outlets for this information from AMD. So check out the links in the description below for more information from that website. And of course, I want to hear from you guys. Tell me in the comments down below what you think about AMD's new CPUs, especially the Threadripper, which, which should be just a fascinating processor to take a look at. And who knows, maybe I'll actually uh, uh, find the money in the bank account for that. If you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe, and comment all those things down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. It is the same tag for your convenience. And we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I am Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I will see you guys in the next video.